you're watching YouTube tutorials and you're watching it extensively and your mindset is that you're going to be expert or you're going to learn the automation by just watching tutorial. I bet you, you will not become an expert. You will not learn automation by just watching YouTube tutorials in 2022. Just hold on a second. Let me explain why. When you are actually watching YouTube videos regularly, on every day you're consuming a lot of YouTube tutorials and you're just watching them, it would only add frustration in your life. Reason why? Because once you are seeing something, there are a lot of questions in your mind whether you are capable to do that or not. So my recommendation for you is instead of watching a lot of YouTube tutorials, just start watching the YouTube tutorial and on the same time start practicing it. Without practicing, YouTube programming tutorials on PLC, DCS and SCADA will add only frustration in your mind. When you are learning to code PLC programming, DCS or SCADA programming, do you ever feel like you are stuck in learning process the same thing over and over again? You might watch a YouTube tutorial videos and by the end of the video, you feel like you gonna get it. But when the next day rolls around, you have no clue how any of it works anymore. So you have to go back and watch over again. But unfortunately, these patterns keep repeating. And you might feel like none of this knowledge is actually sticking in your brain. And it can be very frustrating to feel like you are not getting anywhere. So this video is all about what is the right way, what is the right path. In this video, I'm going to share some of the very, very important points. I'm going to share some of the tips and tricks which help me to consume the YouTube tutorials in a better way. One thing is very important. Don't spend too much time on watching YouTube tutorial. You have to set up your limit. For instance, you can set up a limit of one or two months where you would be watching YouTube tutorials and at the same time you would be practicing it. This is very important. Second thing, practice is more important than just watching YouTube tutorials. One of the very important resource I'm going to share with you if you want to learn PLC, DCF, SCADA on YouTube. We have a complete playlist on PLC, SCADA, HMI and DC. Once you are done watching and practicing at the same time, maybe for two months, then the next and very important step is to use that information to create some industrial projects. Because this is again key thing. Maybe you would start with the smaller projects. If you would search on the Google, you will find a lot of automation, PLC, SCADA and DCS related projects. What you can do is you can just start working on smaller projects. Initially, my advice would be don't get into the bigger projects because this would only add frustration. Eventually, if you are not able to do the bigger project, your mindset would develop like that, that you are not capable of doing that. But actually you are because you are following wrong path. Take my advice, start with the smaller projects, eventually, eventually, then start going for the bigger projects. Now is the time where you would be learning only those things which are required by that project. You would not be consuming a lot of unnecessary information about automation. So it's very important and vital when you are doing the project, your focus should be on that project. And whatever is required to complete that project, you have to kind of just learn only that. In my personal experience, this is the best way to learn anything. Whatever you will learn in this process will stick in your mind forever. And your project should have a deadline. If you are just doing the project without deadline, then you might end up wasting a lot of time just thinking that you would be doing this thing. And once you are not doing anything and you are just thinking that you are gonna do that, it's my experience this would also add frustration. Eventually you will give up on this process. So it's very important to set up small deadlines and small tasks at the start. The process of learning automation is very joyful if you do it properly. It's in home and nature when you accomplish something, then you get a motivation of doing the next thing. 
enjoy the learning process and once you are able to do something then start enjoying this this is more important when you watch entertainment videos at the end you feel happy similarly you should start feeling happy about accomplishing something initially for instance you have done small projects this was a big deal at that day so be happy and enjoy that moment because this is key if you're positive happy and motivated to learn more this is going to be a big thing for you so enjoy the little gains at the start and one very important thing is set up some time every day don't don't target big window in whole day just target for small windows at the start maybe two hours one hour or even half an hour would work but if in the case you're targeting that whole day you are going to work on automation learning curve it is not going to be possible it would only add frustration in your life because once you are not going to be able to do anything eventually the result would be only frustration once you are done with the smaller projects the next step is, is to advance into medium scale projects. For that, you would require an help from the people who are working in domain of automation. For that, you can definitely lock your mentorship from some of the people which are there, out there in the industry, or if you know someone who is into automation and have four or five years experience, then you can get in touch with that person, ask him to guide you, is to give you some medium scale projects. Maybe you can offer your services free of cost to that person. Maybe from whole projects, you take a responsibility of certain area only, and by working on real time projects, you're gonna gain a confidence that would last forever. Once you have an experience of working with that person, then you can actually go ahead and start taking freelancing projects and you can definitely charge money once you know the craft. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button because this is again a big motivation for IT and Automation Academy's team to work on new videos and help you and guide you to learn automation properly on the right path. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button if in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing, turn your notification on because whenever we are going to post a video, you would be definitely notified. That's all for today. Until next video, take care and goodbye.